My name is Sarah Garcia, and today we're going to be talking about black holes. Ever wondered what's the point to all of this and why we're all here? What exactly are we here for? Well, what if I told you that I didn't have the answers to any of those questions? But I can tell you my theory with some science behind it, of course, on how it might all end. Our beautiful, precious Earth and all the precious things on it, and yes, that means your phone, might all get stretched into a thin angel hair of a noodle, all while being sucked into a black hole. Now granted, this might not happen for years and years, but trust me when I say this is very interesting theory. And also, who doesn't want to learn about space? Because I mean, it's space. And with space, the learning is infinite because there is always more to study and discover. And it's always interesting stuff. So I was doing my usual scroll through Netflix a hundred times to see if something new has been added. And I came across this documentary by PBS about black holes. And at first, I was going to skip past it because I didn't, because it looked a little bit too educational and I didn't feel like learning that day. But after I read a bit into the description, I have to admit, I was intrigued. So now you know that I watched an hour and a half documentary plus a little bit of research so that you didn't have to. And now you get to hear about the coolest parts of my four to six minute speech. And trust me, I definitely got the cool parts. Now let's talk about more of the basic ideas before we get into the complexity of black holes. Now firstly, let's talk about how they are created. Well, black holes are actually just dead stars collapsing on themselves. The collapsing of the star actually happens quickly and very rapidly. But the making of the black hole can happen over years. So imagine this huge explosion of light and in the middle is just a ball of mass being crushed together by gravity until we can eventually until it eventually becomes a black hole. Kind of like putting a whole bunch of pressure on a balloon until it pops. Okay, but imagine if there was a hard rock right in the middle of the balloon, and as soon as you pop, popped it, all the force goes straight to the rock. Now this can only happen to really big stars because this little, little stars can't create the element iron because of their limited space. And iron is the element that the star would have to create to allow gravity to fight its way in. This thus creating this collapse and mass implosion, trapping the mass into the tiniest little dot right in the middle of the imploded star, which we can all call black hole. Now, we all know that black holes are dangerous, but do we know how important they are to us? Okay, so now we know that black holes are just dead stars with no beginning and no end. These balls of mass is so dense and heavy that it creates a huge gravitational pull that thus becoming a predator to anything that gets in its way. Once you're trapped in the pool, gravity will get stronger and stronger, and the closer you get to the eye of a black hole, from an outside point of view, time seems to stop for, for you. But from your point of view, everything seems to be at normal speed. But as you enter the black hole, you will get stretched beyond belief until your body eventually starts to disintegrate, and your body will become like dust in the wind. So back to the outside point of view, looking at black holes, all you really see is what's obvious, a black dot and all the gravitational pull around it. But an inside point of view, entering the black hole is like going through a very bright portal filled with all the prisoners it has trapped. But remember, by now you're probably 75% dust and also dead. Now that, you, now that you hopefully understand black holes a little bit better, we can get to talking about why they're so important to us and theoretically might be our end. So I know I told you how black holes are made, but what if I told you that was only the small ones? Okay, yeah, by the way, there's different sized black holes ranging from regular size, which is already huge, to massive and then ultra massive. These ultra massive black holes are created from gas clouds, created from glass, gas clouds that become unstable and the mass from these clouds start to spiral into the middle, creating a baby ultra massive black hole. Okay, so to recap, so far we have suicidal stars, time stopping, portals made of light and mass, and bodies being made into dust. Yeah, I told you, space is kind of crazy. But what if I told you that it gets crazier? So back to the ultra massive black holes. Scientists are startled to see that black holes and galaxies seem to be born for each other and are meant to be together, kind of like destiny. And in fact, once a black hole has found its galaxy, it can choose to have a stronger pull so that it places its, itself smack dab in the middle of its own galaxy. So if you haven't come to the conclusion yet, let me help you out. 
Yeah, there's theoretically a black hole right in the middle of our own galaxy. And if you're thinking that it might take a billion years for us to get sucked into it, just remember that all depends on how that black hole is feeling that day. They seem to have a mind of its own, and whenever it's, it feels like eating more, it just makes itself stronger. Our black hole seems to be a pretty mellow, chill guy, but that could change at any time. So in conclusion, black holes seem to have a purpose in the universe, and this is why it's detrimental to be able to understand them. They are so complex and terrifying, but at the same time, so interesting and beautiful and seem to have a curiosity kill the cat vibe to them. It's a love-hate relationship with these black holes, but you can't help but be impressed and amazed. I, I hope you guys enjoyed th this information, and thank you so much for listening.